everyone, Galaxy here, and welcome back to our playthrough in Brutal Legend. On the last episode, we just finished freeing the men of the Crushing Pit, the Headbangers. And we're going to head over back to Lars's settlement. Before I do that, before we jump cut away and, you know, editing magic, I want to bring you guys up to date what's been going on over the past weekend. Now, I did get a new headset. Which is pretty cool, so if my voice sounds different, that's why. I also did get a new game recording software, so if the game looks better or runs smoother, that would also be why. And it looks like our headbangers just took out... Okay, we get it, guys. Okay, so I gotta remember how to play this game. Hold on. Tab. No, it's Q, right? Yes. Okay. So basically... I got new recording software and Mike still using the same editing software, which is just Windows editing software. It's not the best, not the greatest, but it gets the job done. Not the worst, I meant to say. But anyway, and I actually did miss yesterday's recording software, or er, recording software. I actually did miss yesterday's recording session, which is why you guys are getting a video today on Tuesday. And tomorrow, there's actually going to be a new video out for a new series that I'm going to be doing, trying to be doing every Wednesday. I'm going to try to do a video every three, three, no, sorry, three videos every week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it every Wednesday, so I'll definitely try to get one out every Monday and Friday to you guys. Just opening up these as I go along. I don't think I've showed you guys these. This is the, uh, the Forge. Not the Forge. Is that what it's called? Motor Forge, that's what it's called. You'll see that later on. But basically... Okay, we get it. Calm down. Basically, we've been doing a new series, Star Wars Empire War, which is an older strategy game. But I'll get into that game when I go and play that game on tomorrow. Oh, crap. Oh, hold on. Wait. Yeah, I swear I'm a good driver. It's been a weekend, give me a second. Okay, there we go, we're good. Alright, let's go in here and we'll go start our next mission on Brutal Legend. I see you guys have already met Lars and Lita, and, uh, Ophelia? Where is, where is Olofs, anyway? Uh-oh. Oh no. You didn't try to free the girls too, did you? No. They're already free. We have to take her to the Killmaster. Lars, no. Lion White knows about us now. We need to lay low. Out of my way. You have to stop him. Please. Stop him? I'm gonna give him a lift. Wow, that dude runs fast. Alright, Lars is a speed demon. Also, I do have a new headset, which I did say already, so I don't know why I'm saying that. But with this new headset, there's this new microphone attached to it. Unlike my old headphones, where I was just using the headphones for sound, and then, hey, you not want to get in my way, please? Thank you very much. Where's the beat? There's the beacon. Okay, cool. No one can't give you a ride. You're the enemy. I'm pretty sure, anyway. Anyway. So basically, the new headset is a lot louder, or the microphone picks up a lot more than the laptop microphone, surprisingly. And I can't turn the boost down, or there's no boost option. So I can't really turn down what it picks up or how much it picks up. I can change the general level of the microphone, which kind of works, but... Oh wait, I went the wrong way, crap. Let's not run into everything, please, thank you. Gotta go this way. So you're gonna he you might hear my mouse clicks. So I'm sorry about that. I want to get a silent mouse, but right now this is what I can afford. Hey, you got all right. The cool. I stole their kill. I'm a kill stealer. Confirmed right here. Oh crap! Don't fall off the edge, please. Man, you guys are everywhere. Jeez. All right then. If you're wondering why I'm stopping, this is a bound serpent right here. You free a bunch of those, you get a you get boosts throughout the game. 
Like right there, it said nine more from a gift from Ormogodon. So then I'll get, I believe, I think the first thing we get is health, but I'm not sure. But we'll see. Alright, let's start this mission. Lars! How is she? Fading. We need to take her to the Killmaster. The what? Do not fear him. He chooses that name to scare off intruders. Oh. And protect his flock of giant spiders. He is a powerful healer. All right, let's take Ophelia to him now. I tried. Ambushed on the path. Lion white loyalists. I can handle those guys. Just follow me. We must hurry. All right, let's do it. Now. All right. Then. If I can't stop you, I can at least stop you from getting killed. Oh, we heard Ophelia was in Ophelia? trouble. We're here to help. We're you guys don't even know her. He's oh, afraid of the kill man. They've been practicing. Time for a mosh pit. Yeah. So with every unit in this game, you can <laughs> you can do a double team with them, like I showed in the first episode with Ophelia. And these guys, you just do a giant mosh pit, basically. They just mow down enemies. It's pretty fun. But not very effective at killing everyone instantaneously. Or very fast, anyway. It kills people, just it takes a lot longer than if I was just to swing at them with my axe. But yeah. So, so far this game's pretty fun, and then, oh gosh, I hate these guys. This is just weird. Leave that guy alone. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, let's not. Like I said, this game is very weird. Definitely for a somewhat mature audience. <laughs> but, all in all, it's pretty fun. But I have to take these guys out with my guitar. Yeah, and then he just kills himself. Because the. Demons are weird. Do we go? Oh yeah, we do. Okay. Oh yeah, we need to do some combos. Do we even have any combos? Well, we have that one, but... We haven't been in the motor forge yet, I don't believe. Wait, they were surrounded? Oh crap, we are. Am I playing on normal? It doesn't feel like it. We'll see. Oh crap, I didn't even see you guys. I don't remember even seeing you guys on this game, on this mission before. Mr. Big Hands over here, killing my men. Get out of here. Alright, we have backup. Cool. Alright, let's go. You guys get in front, thank you. There we go. For some reason this kills them. I don't understand why, but it it works. Ow! Hey! Leave my people alone! Oops. Ah, oh, crap. I want to burn my fingers off. Dang it. Yeah, those guys are weird. Those are definitely more of the uh, interesting characters in the game. Come on, guys. Ah, oh, crap. Ah, oh, crap. Hurry up. Oh, I'm sorry. Not bad. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh, man. Yeah, that'd be great, actually. Alright, let's go, guys. They actually got his run over. Oh, we're at the end of the level, anyway. Ow! Oh, my gosh. I hate these guys. There's two squads of them? Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, come on. Lars, what are you doing? Yeah, 
Take that. Get your arm chopped off, man. The game's combat is simple, but... Yeah, it's okay. Come on, guys. There we go. Screw this other guy. Well, demons, but, you know, same thing. Nah, what the hell. Noble Killmaster, this woman... Didn't you see the sign? We don't like visitors up here. But she's dying. Yeah, so what's her excuse? I beg of you, heal this woman who wanted only to free her sisters from the grip of General Lionwhite. Are you fighting Lionwhite? Why didn't you say so? I hate that. Let's see now. Hmm. What's happening? People are pissing me off for one. Is she dead? Not yet, but soon. I'm Even sorry, I stopped playing the music. <laughs> Can't your spider spin new strings? That's annoying. Thicker strings? My little darling's here? No. The metal hey, they're golden. What the heck? The kind of strings you need. Weird. Last time I played it, they were silver. Into her lair anymore, unless she bites in half, suck out her innards, and lay her eggs in our eye sockets. I'm going. Then you'll both be dead, and what good is that? I've got to get those strings, Lita. No, Lars, listen. You have to let her go. You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> in the background. Well, yeah, let's get out of here. Hey, come here. You actually ride every every animal. Anybody want to come with me to the lair of the Metal Queen? Actually, ride every animal in the game, which is pretty cool. Obviously, you can't ride the porcupines, but oh, excuse me, I'm just gonna bounce off your head. Thank you. Yeah, everyone does a little special attack, <sighs> like this guy's a headbutt. Obviously. We would kind of suit it. But now we have to go to the lair of the Spider Queen. I'm gonna edit, I'm gonna mess around with my settings real quick and I'll... Oh, gosh dang it, I really ain't gotta deal with you guys. Okay, tell him. What's he gonna do? Alright, Electro Shock cuts you in half. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Now we're heading to the lair of the spider, metal, metal spider queen, whatever you want to call it. This car is pretty cool, by the way. I like it. I like it. I like that they went with this design instead of a newer one. Fits the This one fits the game much more. Oh, that's a thing. Okay. Can you not, please? Thank you. Alright, cool. Yeah, looks like we're getting to the solo up here. I already know what it is, but you guys don't. More of the mystery. That was a perfect exit. Is that gonna come? He's coming after me. No, he's fine. Okay, cool. Well, I hope it's a good one. Face smelter. Create a massive shock wave to melt your enemies' faces. That ought to come in handy. This is actually a pretty powerful move. Honestly, it's pretty overpowered. <laughs> You can finish a lot of the side missions really easily by doing this. I can't move the. There we go. Like the. Uh, hold on, wait. Oh, jeez. The sneak attacks, like that. I'll show you guys in the next episode. I don't know how I'm going to do side missions. I don't know if we can do those in the main episode or we can just do it as like a side episodes. But we'll see. I guess like every couple episodes we'll just do a bunch of side missions and that'll be it for the game. For that. You know, for that portion of the game. But yeah, I turned up the music just a little bit, so you can hear all the cutscene music, hopefully. But anyway, let's get into this level, or this mission. I'm headed into the lair of the giant spider queen. Anybody got a problem with that?
My friend is dying. I'm heading in there now. You sure you don't want to talk me out of it? No? Okay. Ooh, I hate spiders. When I first played this, I was kind of... I was kind of like on edge. I was like, no, I don't know what's in here. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here as fast as we can. So I turned the music a little bit, but it's not very, not very loud. I don't want to get a copyright strike, just in case. Because most of these games, I know it says most of the songs that were played. But, uh, oh, he's actually alive right there. I didn't notice that before. Go away. Evil, evil things. Thank you. They're actually really easy to kill. It's the little ones that are just really annoying. Like these guys, these guys are just really annoying. Yeah, those guys are really annoying. This is actually the first time I'm playing on a higher difficulty than what I normally play on. So far, it's it feels like it's easier than playing on normal difficulty. Hey, can you guys knock that off, please? You were killed by a shockwave. How do you feel? Seriously, more of you? Jeez. Also, how does a metal spider grow? Honestly, like, their bodies are made of metal. Like, do they transfer their brain into a new metal body? A bigger one? Or does it just, like, some weird ancient metal that grows with the spider? I feel like this deserves some explanation. He just punched the spider in the face. That's not something you can say every day. Usually you punch a spider and it gets squashed. The crap was that? Oh, okay, whatever. No more babies. No more baby spiders. Go away. That was fast. There's the strings. Well, metal. Are you golden too? No. Whoa. Okay, I would ask nicely for some of your giant face strings, but you don't strike me as the negotiating type, so out of personal respect, I'll just get right to the kicking. Unless it kills us. Okay, yeah, we can't do anything until she shows her engine, so basically all we can do right now is dodge. That was really close, actually. Oh, that's a wall. Oh, like that. There we go. Oh, dang it, we gotta go around her leg. Crap, hit her. Oh, crap. Oh, she's doing twice in a row. Okay, she wants to die fast. No problem with me. Okay, time to run away now. Where are you going? Oh, of course, we gotta have a minion fight in the middle of boss battle. Because, you know, that's how it goes. Alright then, fine. Send your minions. They will die quickly. Really? I hate jump attacks. Shove off. Thank you. Oh, crap. Oh, I thought she was gonna jump on me. Dang, I hate these things. Oh, crap. Oh, okay. I don't know why the enemy would do that. I don't know what's the point of that, but okay. I never let her do it all the way, so I guess maybe it's like a special strike or something, if she actually pulls it off. It's the only reason I can see it doing anything. Oh. 
spiders. No, no, stop. Don't swarm me. Look, you just punch a spider, and you just fine. His fists must be made of iron to punch a metal spider, and it goes flying backwards. I know how to lock on. What are you doing, game? Yeah. Oh no, this boss battle is pretty easy. There's not very many, like, boss battles per se in the game. But this is definitely an easy one. Gosh dang, can you just die already, please? Oh, that's not. Let's not do that, please. Oh no, this is a pretty easy fight. Yeah, see? Took way too much time. If I'm gonna get these to the killmaster in time, I'm gonna have to book. Well, it ain't pretty. Let's hope it's fast. Now this is one of the Brutal Legend's most annoying aspects. Times... oh gosh, I've already lost. <laughs> okay then, well. Timed missions, I hate this so much. I am not good at timed missions. I don't even play racing games, to be honest. Oh man, this thing is unbelievably fast, to be honest. I always did wish, like, playing through the game we can get more vehicles, though. But this is literally the only thing else. This is literally the only other vehicle that you actually get to drive as Eddie. So, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. The deuce is pretty cool, all in all. You can customize it pretty much entirely. I'm not doing boost on these. Okay, yes, I am. I lied. Immediately just lied. And that's why. Come on, go faster. I hate these turns so much. That was a good drift, sure. But in this aspect of it, they do give you plenty of time. It's just that sometimes I mess up when driving, and then I just lose. Oh, sorry. Nice. Thick as a baby's arm. There you go, you guys can hear music this time. Lars. I can always count on you, can't I? You know, we could really use guys like you and your men in our band. I mean, army. I ain't much of a joiner, but I'll do anything if it pisses off Lion White. Drag your wounds to the bay before they die, and I'll heal them all. All right, come see us in Bladehenge sometime. Got some new T-shirts coming in. I'll totally hook you up. All right, guys, I think that'll do it for this episode. It's kind of a short one, but oh, secondary missions. Rudy's first responsibility to his band. You'll meet a lot of people who need your help when you're out on the road. Complete these secondary missions to please the metal gods and earn their fire tributes. That fire tributes are used for upgrades in the Motor Forge, which I'll show you guys in the next episode. I'm Galaxy Gamer. It's been fun. I'll see you guys tomorrow for an Empire at War video. See you guys later.